It's very smooth. <laughs> enough? You want enough? <laughs> Video, I'm going to show you Alfama and just for you to understand exactly where in Lisbon we are this is Baixa right here and just across Chiado Santa Justa elevator and Carmo Church Bom dia Tudo bem? In Lisbon, you don't need a car. You can walk everywhere, and also public transport here is really good. But if you're feeling like you need an Uber, you know, it is very affordable here as well. We just had a 12-minute ride, and it was three euros and 84. Or if you're coming from Basha, this is the bus you should catch, number 737. This place here won the 2019 award of the best custard card. Ah! <laughs> Yes. <laughs> when it's warm, it's so good, huh? Mm -hmm. So, so good. So crunchy, so crunchy. Delicious. The filling here is very soft and moist, right? Yeah. I think that's different from the, the others I've tried. Just because it's warm. Yeah, mm, could be. It says right there, eat a custard tart and ask San Antonio a miracle. Did you ask yours? Yes. What was your miracle? I don't tell. Oh, come on. I can't tell. <laughs> you can. Nope. It doesn't say anything there about nope. not sharing. Nope. <laughs> 10 euros. Obrigada. We're here right at the opening, nine in the morning. No lines. The biggest disadvantage of arriving early is that here in Lisbon, you can have a marine layer in the morning. Right now, the view is not that great. <laughs> it will get better later. St. George's Castle is also known as the Lisbon Castle, and it's one of the most important tourist attractions here. It was built in the 11th century to protect the city. We're here. So this was probably like the main area of the castle. So interesting. Look at how thick the walls are. See, here you can see the depth. And they're all at an angle. And look over here at the superior parts too. Look at this. Ooh. All this for protection. In case of attack, people could hide themselves and, uh, and they wouldn't be so vulnerable. the owner of the place here. We have this all for us. This is the Moorish Quarter, this first one right here. This was the residential area for the elite. And it's kind of small, interesting. This in the 11th and 12th centuries. A lot of people come here expecting to see a castle, a palace, <laughs> but it doesn't exist. This place was never meant to be a residence. It was never really used as a residence. It was built to protect the elite. This place was used more as a fortress. And there was even a palace here at some point, but it didn't resist time and also the massive earthquake that destroyed Lisbon in the 18th century. These stairs are so steep. <laughs> And something very interesting here at the castle, there's a periscope, it's right there. There are live demonstrations, the exact hours are by the door. You cannot film inside and it wouldn't even be possible because it's all dark. And you can have a 360 view of the entire Lisbon here from the top of this tower. Very cool. Oh, aren't you funny? This castle was built by the Moors, North African Arabs. This was in the 11th century, and it was also here that they lost control of this land. There was a battle with the Christian Crusaders one century later. The Moors lost, and they were forced out of Portugal. And the Portuguese regained power over the territory. Here there's an exhibition showing a few objects 
They belong to the Arabs. They're all found in the castle area. Wow, the Arabs were here for five centuries. That's a lot. This is the currency at the time. Wow. Okay. Ah, the view is already much better. There is a life I lead in this city. Hurry in the cup, my tea. This is the highest point in Lisbon, at least here in the central region. One of the greatest things about Alfama is that here there are lots of viewpoints, beautiful viewpoints. We're gonna visit a few along the day. Look at the line now to buy the ticket. It goes all the way down there. From here now, it's super easy to arrive at the other viewpoints. Not even 10 minutes walking. This is St. George here, and the name St. George is because of the battles, you know, Portuguese were having with the Moors for the territory, and they learned about St. George's reputation as the fighter, the warrior, hence the name. Do you know her too? Depending on your shoes, this Portuguese pavement here is very slippery, and it's all over the city. I can't imagine this when it's raining. Largo da Graça, or Graça Square. And there's a viewpoint over here. <laughs> the castle's right here. The view is almost the same. You just don't see much of the river. You see more of the city. And right past us, there's another viewpoint back there. Out of curiosity, let me show you here the church and the convent of Graça. Everything is wide open. You don't pay anything to visit. I pray to the Lord. I rise to the Lord. Gonna greet the Lord. I pray to the Lord. Fatuma da Jambele. There's a very traditional procession here in Lisbon during Lent with this image of Christ carrying the cross here. It's been going on every year since 1587. No. Now let's go see the convent. It's from 1271, one of the oldest in Lisbon. With the dissolution of the monasteries in Portugal, the convent started being used by the army and it was open to the public about three years ago. There's no permanent exhibition here. There's nothing going on on a day by day. But uh, if you want to come for a visit, the doors are open. I pray to the Lord. I rise to the Lord. Gonna greet the Lord. This is the dining area, full of panels and tiles from the 17th century. Going down here, another viewpoint, very close. But here we'll be able to see the other side. There are basically no flat streets in Alfama. This is the oldest district in Lisbon. Hola. <laughs> we be in Lisboa. Lisboa. That is super busy. It looks like time stood still with these cable cars. Beautiful. Miradouro de Santa Luzia, Santa Luzia viewpoint, straight ahead, one of the top places you should visit here in Lisbon. And all these viewpoints I'm showing here are free. You don't pay anything for such an amazing view. So many viewpoints here everywhere, and each one is even prettier than the other. nice restaurant over there and if you're feeling like not being so fancy there's also a nice kiosk here with the same view this is the sun gate square Largo das portas do sol because sunrise is here and this gate was destroyed by the earthquake but the name remained
during the Arab occupation, this was the largest part of the city. There was even a walled city here. This is a Sears lock. Look at it. It's the master lock. Yes. I've been mentioning a lot the devastating earthquake that happened here in 1755, and this was one of the few parts of the city that was not destroyed. Why? It's thanks to the compact labyrinth here. So a lot of what you see, it's authentic. But there were also other two factors. There was the tsunami, and here we are on higher grounds. The water didn't come up here. And one more thing, the rest of the city was Catholic, so people lit candles inside their homes and there was a fire. Here, they were Islamic, no candles, so there was no fire immediately. When the fire reached this part, it was easier to manage. Obrigada. That's good, that's very good. You can imagine having this Very fruity, this one. It really tastes the cherry here. Very fruity. And it's very smooth. <laughs> enough? You want enough? <laughs> They're muito bom. A senhora que faz aqui mesmo? Yeah. This lady produces it right here in her home, and then she just opens the door and sells it. And it is really good, you know, it's very, very sweet. You almost don't taste the alcohol. Obrigada, muito bom. <laughs> Ginger is a very traditional liquor here in Portugal. It's made of... Uh... Cereja. Cereja, cherries. <laughs> it's learning Portuguese. <laughs> Fine. It's yours? Okay. Mine, I finish. It's our second one. Here in Alfama, you find some artisanal ones. This is the lady that was selling it. Angela, that's her name. And then there's some story here about her. In Alfama, they put pictures like this on the walls of their most famous personalities. She says that her name is Candida, but everyone knows her as cacao, which translates into cocoa. And this was because of the color of her skin when she was born. So funny, she sits right there, just opens her door, and she sells ginger, just like that. Here in Lisbon, and like many cities in the world, you can actually drink alcohol on the street, so you can buy ginger there from her. Just walk, you know. A nossa. A nossa. <laughs> this is how you toast here. It's too late for me, almost done. The best way to discover Alfama is to walk around. You can get lost. Google Maps is not going to work very well here, but at least you discover some unique places. Worst case scenario, if you go down, you arrive at the river area, and if you go up, you arrive at the church. In the end, it always works out. If you stay here, it might be tough. Gotta be like them carrying your luggage, because I don't think cars can come here, right? Helicopter. Helicopter. <laughs> You can see St. Anthony in a lot of the houses. Should give you an indication of where we're going next. Once I heard from a Portuguese the best explanation ever about the connection between Portuguese people and St. Anthony. It goes like this. Well, St. Vincent is our patron, but St. Anthony is our favorite. That's because he was born here, right here. Who knew? He's Portuguese. People normally associate St. Anthony with Padua. He is St. Anthony of Padua, right? But he's not Italian, he's Portuguese. And this is his church, right in front of Lisbon Cathedral. Now, Fama, they celebrate St. Anthony in the entire month of June. the most sacred part of everything. A little piece of St. Anthony's bone. So now in all my videos here in Portugal, you've seen all the main parts here in the central area of Lisbon. The next vlog, I'll take you a little further away, but not so much, until Belém. <laughs> Thank you for watching and see you. You know that people throw coins here because they're searching for love, right? I don't need that, I found you. Oh. <laughs> if you come to Lisbon in a cruise ship, you're already very close to Alfama. See, the port is over there. That's already a ginormous cruise ship. And you can go up to Alfama 
right here. You can do everything walking. Oh, this is family. <laughs> like a liquid, right? You say it's like a... Like a liquid. No, I mean... <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> what did you... It's good. It tastes like South Asia.